Hello friends and welcome to Science With Me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research and we are making some amazing Tinkercad circuit tutorials for you guys to learn circuits and build some amazing projects. And in this one, we are going to make a um, LED paint box and we've done that before and we're gonna do this one without potentiometers. So we'll call that POTS for short. And the reason why I wanted to show you guys this video is because Sometimes in those kits you only get two potentiometers and to make it the way that we did, we needed three. So we are gonna try this and not use any potentiometers. So I need a breadboard and I'm gonna power it up with a nine volt battery. And our paint box projects use the red, green, blue LED. So you're gonna to wanna to pull one of those out and we can wire that in. And again, this has one pin for red, a cathode, which is gonna to go to ground one pin for blue and one pin for green. And how much voltage goes according to the red or the blue or the green will mix those colors accordingly. So if I have zero voltage, I'd have zero red mixed in. If I have five volts, I'd have like all of the red mixed in that I can have. So that's sort of important to know how those guys work. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna connect our power and our ground. And I'm gonna color, like always, I'm gonna color my ground wires black and my wires that go straight into power, those ones are usually red. So this gives me some power across this, and the cathode we're going to want to connect into ground. So that one's going to go into black. Now sometimes you might have, instead of a common cathode, you might have what's called a common anode, and in that situation you would actually plug this into your voltage line, and then all of these, instead of going into voltage, would go into ground. So that's, if you see that one, it's just sort of exactly the same, but flipped. All right, so we are gonna make our pretend potentiometer. A potentiometer changes the resistance as you go. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little resistor ladder that goes up and down. So this resistor, if I plug in here, I'll only have gone through one resistor. If I plug in here, I'd have gone through two resistors. Now the more resistors I go through, the less voltage I get out. So this is gonna let me control how much voltage goes into the red, the green, and the blue leg, depending on where I plug them in at. Of course, we're going to need to power these guys up. So we can do that right here by plugging it in like that. And if I was building this in real life, you would have jumper guys that you could plug in here and then you could move around and you could plug in anywhere you wanted. Tinkercad won't let me do that. I have to choose where the things are going to be plugged in. So let's say I decide that my red, which I always color pink, because I don't want it to get mixed up here. Let's say that that one I'm gonna decide goes here. And now in real life, I'd be able to easily pull this up and move it somewhere else. All right, and then here is my blue. Let's say I put blue into this one. And let's say I want a lot of green, so let's put our green over here, oops, like that. And then the last thing I can do is I can plug this guy up into ground, just so that it's, oops, not red, we want black, just so that's sort of like complete circle there. Now, oop, this one's green. Let's change that color to green so we don't get confused later. That goes into our green leg right there. All right, so now when I start my simulation, I get a color here. Now, I could normally, just pick this up and move it around in real life, but I can't do that today. But what I can do is I could say, oh, what if I plug the green in over here? Let's delete this guy a little bit. And let's put the green over here where I'd have much less green. I can restart my simulation. Ooh, now I can see I have much more red. I could, maybe I wanna put my green over this way. Oops. Gotta grab the one that comes here. And maybe this is the amount of green that I want. So now I've got a little bit more green. That red is really overpowering it for me. But maybe I decide I don't want as much red. So I could put red, if I want less of it, it's gonna need to go through more resistors. All right, and that lowers the voltage over. So now I have more green. And you could add, you could change the amount of blue to the mix, like this. Now I've got more blue, and this allows you to have a paint box 
without using the potentiometers. Now the potentiometers is really nice because you can really sort of fine tune and change all the colors. This is like chunks of colors, but this is a great way if you don't have all those potentiometers to make an LED paint box without them. I hope that you enjoyed this. You can definitely make this with your Elegoo circuit kit if you have one of those and you've been following us. Um, and I hope to see what you guys make. Thank you guys so much for joining us and check out all of our other Tinkercad circuit tutorials. Have a great one, friends.